There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Alright guys and welcome back to more Persona 4 Arena. It is still the same day that I recorded the last four story mode parts to not or the last four story mode characters I should say. So we're about to move on to Naoto's story mode, which was originally gonna be the final one, but Elizabeth's Elizabeth I called it Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth Elizabeth's story got unlocked when we uh when we beat Akihiko, so she'll be the last one. I said I was going to, um, the last story I did was going to be the last one for today. I guess I lied. We're going to go ahead and do Naoto's and then do, um, we're going to do Elizabeth's tomorrow. Counter shot. Double fan. Alright, I don't know how to play with Naoto. This is cool. Do, 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 do. How fast can she? Here I go. There you are. Okay. Hey, there you are. Okay. Here I came. Okay. Here I came. Okay. Please. Hair trigger Megiddo. Hair trigger Megiddo. That's a weird name for that. Instantly pulls her gun out. How the hell do you counter that? I'm pretty sure they're gonna teach me how to counter that. That'll be nice to learn how to counter that. Instant kill. I got a phone. I hope you're prepared. Hold on, guys. Hello? Nothing seems amiss. Hello? This is a reminder to shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, let's get back to <laughs> It was an automatic school message. Anyway, let's just continue. I'm not sure if you guys are getting them, but we get them all here all the time in Milwaukee. It's a damn NPS school. Milwaukee prepared. public schools. Damn automatic school shit. Okay. So, raid is... I don't get it. Here I go. Ah, wait, never mind. Okay. Huh? Huh? Why are you shooting your friends like that? That's just horrible now, Toad. Just shooting your friends? Easy mode combo. Oh, I think I got a combo for that. Okay. See you. Okay. Please. 
Nothing seems amiss. So, so to be like, uh, 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 uh. Oh, whatever. Isn't that what she does here? No, she kicks him back. Here we go. Okay. Anyway, jump C, stand A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. What the stand? I just did that, didn't I? So they want me to combo that somehow? What? Huh? Ah, oh, I can't be mashing it. I gotta push it direct. I gotta have direct timing. Start C. Cancel aim is D. Okay. Alright, so stand C. All right, so to cancel it out, you gotta push the persona button. This, is, this shouldn't be too hard. Snipe ricochet. How do you do that? It looks like you gotta push B. Ah, so B is the short one. I must hit. Then cancel it out. Aim. How you lay trap. Okay. Sniping. Thanks. Aim. Here I go. Taking aim. Taking aim. They want you to combo that or what? Oh, they did. Oh, they tell. They're telling. They're basically telling you how you should just play and keep away. Taking aim. Taking aim. See? Yeah, that's what they want you to do. They want you to play keep away. Sniping. Okay. Okay. Taking aim. Taking aim. Right, I gotta connect every shot Sniping. with this guy. Well, play keep away with now, so if you want. Crouch B. Persona! Oops. Easy mode. Throw. Oops, did the wrong one. Throw follow up is C. Doing the wrong motion now. Oh, uh, what? You gotta have perfect timing with this chick. Boom! What? <laughs> Here we go, we got it. Aim, that's B. I hate, I hate this move because it's so quick. And I think she gets invincibility during it. Rolling out the way. This ain't Call of Duty. You can't prone. <laughs> what are you doing? Keep doing it. I keep thinking the roll four. You gotta push forward. Exactly this. Now it's not that hard once you understand how to play with it. Ah, oh, how was not it? There we go, you gotta pretty much input it while you're hitting them. 
And I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Once it gets to like the 24s, that's when it starts to get ridiculous. So let's go ahead and just complete her story mode. Naruto's not that difficult to play with. Once you understand how to cancel her shots. Because <laughs> I didn't know how to cancel her shots before. But it is time to finish up. Let the investigation begin. Naruto's story. Continue from the cliffhanger. Who was in that room she was talking about? I'm interested. Rise san it was Rize. Look out! <gasps> a low whizzing sound passes above my head. <gasps> Woo! And it was like, <laughs> what was that? Did something get thrown my way? Naruto-kun! I look at her from across the room. She is lying on something large on the ground. On closer inspection, the red and white lump she is holding down is Teddy? <laughs> I see General Teddy in the back of the room, so the one with Rize has to be the real one. A girl is standing between Teddy and General. I've never seen her before, but looking at her mechanical body, I can tell who she is. That's Labras. What should we do? That girl wasn't normal. She wasn't even human. I know it sounds hard to believe, but she's a robot or something. She defeated Teddy and, um... Oh, calm, calm down. down. Are you talking about Labras? <laughs> hey, I just said that. So Rize is quite shaking. She's still not. The riddle is solved, then. You're not the real Teddy. You're only a shadow taking his form. The shadow of Labras here, to be precise. Aha! No wonder they call you the Detective Prince now, Chan. You cracked the case. Detective Prince. But even if you figured it out, there's still nothing you can do. I carefully watched General Teddy as he scoffs. Whatever he was, he threw at me. I was too busy dodging to see it clearly, but it must be dangerous. I'm sure he won't hurt his owner until he hears a certain phrase from her. But he has no real—he has no reason to be gentle with the rest of us. That's what she said. And I bet my gun—I point my gun at him, ready for any more of his attacks. However, the next attack that comes from a direction I had not been expecting. What? There's a droning sound. It's coming from a giant axe flying at me. The axe is bigger than I am. Spinning through the air towards me. Like a boomerang. There are thrusters behind it. So is Labyrinth attacking her. It's not true. We're human. This is all just a bad dream. I gotta destroy everything. Oh shit. We gotta put a stop to Labyrinth. Before she go chopping up everybody. She's gonna pull a Luke and just kill everybody in the building. Rise san, please stay back. Now to come. I bite the bullet. I will stop her, no matter what. All right. So our first fight with Naoto. Now that we kind of know how to play with her, kind of, kind of. Of course. Of course. Get out of here. What? I did the follow-up shot. It didn't work. <laughs> ah, she always does that shit. Ah, he t she took plenty shots to the face. You know what? Hamon doesn't do any damage. I just realized that. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Did you see Naoto's health? She got less than like she has to have less than seven or eight thousand health. Like that was retarded. <laughs> Forty five hundred damage takes half her bar. That's insanely retarded. Did I save it? Yeah, I saved it. 
Aw, she beat you fair and square. You really are useless, Labby Chan. Damn. After Labyrinth collapses, the Shadow looks at her as if she was trash. The whole reason for being is to fight. And you can't even do that. You're not worth a damn. You don't need to exist anymore. The Shadow's voice and speech pattern begin to slip away. We don't need to see Teddy reveal himself. We already know who it is. It's her shadow. The form that it takes is as I thought. Labyrinth. The, shadow. the, the true, true self. That's my face. Yes, it is. Oh. You, you don't, don't want, want to remember? remember? Fine. You, you can, can die, die like that. that. <gasps> what? She's attacking her owner now. Is it a threat to pressure her? This is a shadow we're dealing with, after all. There's no, there's no knowing what it will Stop do. Stop it! What's this? Why are you protecting her? It's her fault you all had to fight each other, you know. With that, she turns to her other self and looks down at her with disdain in her eyes. You want the everyday experience Alright, so she's about to say it. Right? That's why we're in a... <gasps> My home was a horrible place. They made us fight and kill each other just to collect combat data. It hurt so much, but no one understands. How can I make them see me? I know. I'll force friends to fight each other. Maybe then they'll understand. No. I want to make them understand. That ain't true. That's not what I want. Oh, yeah? Then let me take over from here. I'll destroy everyone who pretends to understand, just like you did before. Stop! I've had enough! Labrys! <laughs> no! You're not me! Oh. No! <laughs> it's you over. said it! You finally said it! Oh, I can feel it building! That's what she said! A sinister aura surges from the shadow. Even the surroundings begin to warp its energy. Two anime cutscenes in a row that we already seen already? Get out of town. In an instant, the area becomes dominated by a piercing red light. The view from behind the window has changed completely. I hear Rize saying gra gas behind me. I don't know what this place is modeled after, but I get the sense that someone carved open a, light, a living creature's stomach. Just as my friends did for me. Rize san, you watch Labrys and Teddy. I got him. Good luck, Natakun. Yes, I'll save her. Damn, she gets two fights in a row like that. That was quick. Nauto gets the business. She gets straight to the damn point. Just like Kanji. No, I wouldn't even say that. Um, Kanji was just... I don't know, Kanji never really sat and thought that much about stuff. Go! No! Why do they always go for the damn overhead? Get that shit out of here. Okay. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> I ain't falling for that. I was like, zoop. No, nope. get that shit out of here. My DP too great. Naoto Shirogane is on the case. You know what? Naoto doesn't play that bad either. I like it. the way she plays is pretty fun. I managed to defeat her, even though she shouldn't be in the fighting game because she shoots. That's cool. <laughs> she shows no further signs of resistance. Cautiously, I turn around and walk to Labrys, who is sitting on the floor be being held up by Rize San. <laughs> it seems Teddy has also regained consciousness. Are you alright? Labrys has a melancholy. Melancholy? Yeah, I think that's how you say that. Melancholy. 
look on her face as she hangs her head. It's either melancholy or melancholy. And I don't think it matters how I pronounce it. As long as you understand the meaning. She's so human-like. The sheer authenticity, there we go, of the expression makes that thought appear in my I mind. I have the chance to introduce myself. I'm Naoto Shiragane. Your Labrys, is that correct? She raises her head, but neither confirms nor denies it. She just quietly stares at her double across the room. The machine given the ability to summon a persona? The persona ability was the primary object in her creation. The fact that she was developed a heart came as a byproduct. I can't claim to understand your pain. It was only today that I learned you existed. To say nothing of the weapons program from which you sprung. But there is one thing I do understand. I kneel and look Labrys in the eyes. Look carefully at me. Do I seem like a man or a woman to you? Uh, what do you mean? You and I are alike. There is such a gulf between what we yearn to be and what we are that we have trouble accepting our true nature. Our true nature? Just as I cannot break the glass ceiling of my profession, you cannot become human. That is the painful truth. But if we were able to change, would that truly bring us happiness? I feel there is something only you or I can offer, because of who we really are. Is something a machine like me can offer? Even if there is something like that, there's no place I belong. Now the story ain't that bad. That's not true. I'm not human either, but I work at Juness. <laughs> the part-time ladies give me sweets sometimes and everything. The heart is always lacking something. It may be that you and I will be troubled by this same thing for the rest of our lives. But please don't forget that you're not alone anymore. I'm not alone. I'm not strong, Lady Labras, as she looks up at me. I repeat it for emphasis. Don't worry. You're not alone. That's right! I'll stick to you like glue! And it won't be just us. I'm sure you'll make lots of friends with everyone in town. Really? A machine? Like me? We not. Labras stands up and approaches her shadow. They said, it's okay to be me. Doesn't that make you happy too? She takes the shadow's hand as it droops its head listlessly. I'm so sorry I locked you up inside me for all that time. We'll be okay now. I'm not alone. And you're not either, right? We're not alone. Dun, 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 Maguero showed you is a beast. I composed Zing song. I accidentally skipped. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway. So it was now that I spoke last. Lapis, there are some people from the Carrijo group here looking for you. I'm going to do this. Stick me back in the box. Okay. Thank goodness for the backlog. <laughs> of course they will. After all, I caused a lot of trouble. What else are they gonna they ain't do? Gonna do it. I can't say anything about that for certain. But you should talk with them. It's your right to be where you belong. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, of course. At that moment, I hear several footsteps approaching from outside. I stand and take a fighting pose for an instant, but relax when I hear familiar voices. I ease up and smile. Is everyone alright? Whoa, Senpai! Uh, you're back from the city already? Never mind him, Kanji-kun. What about you? What have you been doing all this time? The Shadow Host was defeated. The invisible walls must have disappeared. This place is familiar to all of us. With the walls gone, finding each other is a piece of cake. Yo, Naoto! <laughs> Guess you made the big meetup after all, huh? I swear, we're tied together by fate or something. <laughs> Actually, is that the real you, Teddy? <sighs> you're so blind sometimes, Yosuke! Risei-chan, I'm so glad you're safe! Senpai, you're all here! Kirijo-san group comes in behind Senpai and others. The room instantly falls silent. <laughs> Perhaps some of the others had encountered them during the match before I did, but in general, everyone was shocked to see them. You must be Labrys. 
All of us hold our breath as Carrillo's sans dignified... Huh? Oh, as. Why do I always get at and as confused? All of us hold our breath at Carrillo's sans dignified voice. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. You may have heard already, but I came to collect you. What are you, a bill collector? I... Collect? At that, Lavrus takes a step back. I put my hand on her shoulder to comfort her. She looks at me and I nod. Are you dead in P4? <laughs> what? Are you dead in P4? What is he talking about? <laughs> Are you dead in Persona 4? I couldn't finish. I don't get what he's trying to say right there. He could mean like... He must mean like it's, it's boring or something. Persona 4 Arena. He couldn't finish because he couldn't just... He didn't... I don't know. I, I just don't understand what he... I'm about to ask him. What does he mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to ask it like this. What? What do you... What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? That's something Labrys would say, right? What do you mean? Broske. Anyway. At that... La -da 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 -da. Human and robot anyone, it doesn't change anything. But no matter who you are, there are things that you have to carry out through your own actions, using your own words. I don't want to go back in that box. Or to that lab. At, as Leverage manages to say it, a voice speaks up from behind Kirijo. Mitsuru-san, I'd like to ask that you consider her request. Leverage's, my sister's abilities, will surely be useful to us. Please. Can't we enlist her on a trial basis and see what happens? Sister. Surprised by that unfamiliar appell appell appellation. Labrys. What the hell is going on? My PS3. Oh my god. You know what? PSN is supposed to be up for maintenance. I pushed this button and it still ain't loaded up yet. There we go. Are you KO'd? What? I'm winning. Hey, let me just say that. I'm winning. I have no clue what he's trying to get at. <laughs> I'm winning. He might be referencing something. I don't know. I'm just going to say I'm winning. You're a robot too. It's nice to meet you. I'm Igis, the seventh generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. I'm your successor, sister. Sister, sister. Yeah. Sisters? She answered Libris with a smile. Amazing her tone, her expression, they're all so human. I'd like to third their request. I'm well aware that I'm in no place to make demands on you, but... Kirijo-san gave a wry smile. Give me a sec, I want to see what the hell is this noise is. I think it was a jet landing. We live right next to a damn airport. It was like a jet over there. Holy shit. Alright, I'm back. Kirijo san gave a wry smile for a third objection. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like the bad guy. You are the bad guy. <laughs> Yo damn company was doing shady shit. There's no need to worry. I wasn't thinking of sealing you away again. She's lying through her teeth. <laughs> really? She said, come and collect. She came to collect Labrys. You know what she was thinking. You've awakened to your persona and gained control over it. I don't believe anything Mitsuru True. says. I don't know for sure that the danger is past, but I don't feel that you need to be sealed off from humanity, particularly since it's obvious that you have a heart. Kirijo-san. Labby-chan doesn't need to be all alone anywhere? <laughs> yeah! Uh, Calm down. Naruto, sorry to interrupt, but who are these people? They kind of look like a bunch of freaks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one of them's not even human. Uh, I guess she's a robot? Huh? Wait a sec. Kirijo? As in the Kirijo group? Wait, what? What's going on here? <laughs> I'm surprised Chie was the one to remember. Or to bring that up. More importantly... How much should I disclose? Blah 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 blah. 